The reason for me getting involved with defined uh, learning stemmed from uh, I I teach an environmental science class that is taken by most students as their third year of science in high school, uh, where they need that third year to graduate, but maybe they didn't want to take chemistry or, or they're not necessarily thinking uh, four-year post-secondary or something like that. So what I ended up with in that class was a wide range of students. I had students that just wanted to be there because they needed their third year of science, all the way up to the students that were really interested in environmental science and took the class because uh, they, they wanted to be there um, based on the curriculum. Uh, so I had a wide range and uh, I was having trouble with student engagement. Um, students in our school are, are, you know, pretty polite. They're Northwest Iowa. They're, they're you know, they'll do what you ask them to do. Uh, but maybe that doesn't always necessarily mean that they're engaged. And so I decided to give defined learning uh, a chance uh, to help me with that engagement. Uh, some of the things that I started seeing right away is some of those kids that were just taking it as a third year of science. Uh, we're jumping into these projects because we were talking about uh, using a bunch of two by sixes to build some raised bed gardens. Well, now they're interested because they're spending part of their day down in the shop where they'd rather be than my classroom anyways. And now they're going to take some of that and bring it into um, my classroom and talk about something that's quote unquote science related. Uh, so I think that with the dif different um, projects that you have available to you, uh, the resources in defined uh, learning can help get some of those kids who maybe weren't engaged all of a sudden interested in the project. Uh, I was really worried. <clears throat> Uh, I still wanted students to be able to, uh, you know, do well on that multiple choice test uh, that Dr. Moss was talking about earlier. Um, I didn't want to give up on that. I wanted to be able to make sure that they could still score well. Uh, so I, I kind of did it at first, kind of got into it um, slowly. And then as I started to believe in the system more and more, uh, last year, I got to the point in environmental science where I was using defined STEM and performance-based um, uh, assessments more than I ever had. Uh, I got really, really curious as to, okay, it, are they still scoring as well as I think they're scoring? And so I did, decided to give them the ultimate test. Um, last year at the end of the year, I also teach AP environmental science as well. Uh, I decided to take one of those AP um, practice exams from one of those five steps to getting a five on the exam. And I gave it to my regular environmental science class at the end of the year. And I ended up having something like like 32% of them actually would have scored a three on the exam um, had they sat for the exam last May. And so I think um, at that point, there was no denying it. Uh, if you get the kids engaged, they're going to um, better understand the material than had you just stuck with the traditional, um, you know, classroom lecture and take a test at the end of the chapter type format. I guess the, one of the other things I did want to make sure that I added is um, I know I was naive when I first started teaching, but I really thought I was going to walk into a science classroom and every kid that walked into my room was going to be as excited about science as I was. And it was kind of a shock to me uh, when I started to realize, you know what, 90 percent of the kids don't want to be here and they not only don't want to be here, they're not going to do this at the next level like I did. And so I had to figure out a way to get it, get that information applicable to their lives, as well as that, say, 10% that wanted to go on and major in science. And I think project-based learning and defined learning, that can actually help you do that with that other 90% of the kids.